I'm, I'm fascinated, lads, to get your, your view on what happened at, at Old Trafford last night. Not the goals, the performance, any of that stuff, but, well, actually, one of the goals. Um, the, the incident involving the Manchester United penalty. R Richie, just talk us, talk us through what happened here. Mourinho had his say afterwards. Daley Blint ended up taking the penalty. Just give me your thoughts. Well, first of all, talk about the penalty and the awarding of it. Really good play from, from Rashford. Positive attacking, gets in the box at pace, and it's a correct decision from the referee. And then it's about Mourinho's getting involved in the decision as to who should take the penalty. Lukaku seems to be waved away from it. Lind is the one who takes it eventually. You can see he there, he has a say. Um, at this kind of micromanaging of, 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 of the players, to, to get involved at that level, to be telling players they can and can't take it, particularly to shout down Lukaku, a player who he's publicly praised in the last few days and kind of had a go with the United fans for not getting behind them, why he would then stand him down from a penalty kick. Even the whole night, I mean, the programme notes, he, he had a go with the United fans saying, I hope you enjoyed tonight more than some of you enjoyed the game against Tottenham. It just seems to be more Mourinho stuff. It seems to be in a psychological makeup that he needs to position himself as an enemy of everyone. I he takes on everyone. Yeah, He's indeed. taken on the press before, you know, Einstein's in the press box. He's numerous comments having to go to opposition managers. He regularly personalises the criticism of his players. He now having to go with the United fans. It's, it, it's, the, it's the landscape he seems to create for himself. He did it at Real Madrid. He did it towards the end of his time mm. at Chelsea. He is now doing it at Man United. Well, one of the fans groups, Eamon, I read today, have, have suggested, well, look, if you're not happy with us, we will meet you. Um, <laughs> and they'll sit yeah. down with Jose Mourinho and, and have, a, have a, a, a discussion with him yeah, about the atmosphere. You can meet him in that nice six-star hotel exactly. he's living in, in yeah, Manchester. In the suite. Yeah. They can have tea and scones. <laughs> now, I think he wants to go to Paris. And the football Manchester United are playing at the moment, and Liam has said this for a long time, and I agree with him. He's not a good fit for Manchester United, Mourinho. Uh, and it's going to end in tears. But could it end in tears with uh, trophies along the way? Uh, there was the League couple cuts. last year. Well, yeah, sure, well, he, he wants the Champions League and, and, and uh, you know, the, the Premier League. That's what they're, they're after, right? And they haven't had them there for a long time. But, like, as you say, this kind of marriage of inconvenience or something, but it could end up being very successful. And is he, I think, I heard, did I hear Paul Scholes last night saying, look, it's not going to be pretty, but he's the manager they need at this time. He's as far away from the Champions League uh, medal winning as I am from the Nobel Prize for Literature. Oh, well, let's say you got luck. Well, you can ask the lads, ask <laughs> Liam. I don't think he's any chance with that squad okay. of players. Well, Paul Scholes is a Man United fan, yeah. and they've, they've been the, the, the top silverware has been missing for the last few seasons and if Mourinho can bring it back um, i.e. the Premier League or the Champions League I think Man United fans will tolerate All him right. but he's not a fit for Manchester United the traditions of that club have been built on attacking football and watching what's going on across the city must be hard for those fans and Jose to take we will talk more about that again thanks man that is uh, it